Talking about changing up our vlogs a little bit. I'm gonna do a little story time for you guys and hopefully I don't talk too long. But So when I was 13 years old, I was diagnosed with something called Marfan syndrome. And Marfan syndrome is a connective tissue disorder. Um, it basically can affect your entire body because our bodies are made out of connective tissue, you know, all over. And so it can affect your seeing your heart, your skeletal system, your lungs, like everything. So there are a lot of different characteristics and symptoms that come along with Marfan syndrome. And the ones that um, I had were basically my heart, um, overcrowding of the teeth, and then there are a bunch of characteristics that aren't necessarily a symptom but basically being tall and slender like I am. I am 5'11 and I weigh probably under 120. Um, and and I've always been that way. Um, let's see, what else? Um, trying to think. So I do have a heart murmur which comes along with it and also I was diagnosed with an enlarged aorta. Well basically there's a lot to it but I guess I just wanted to bring it up and just tell you guys about it because it's not something that a lot of people know about. So anyways, my whole life I was under the impression that I it would not be safe for me to have children. I was told that I should never get pregnant. And the reason why is because you have a 50% chance of passing it on to your child, number one. But number two, um, you can have this thing where your aorta basically explodes during labor because um, of the connective tissue mutation. So there's no cure for Marfan's disease and there's really also not a ton of treatments you can do depending on what your symptoms are. Um, I have taken heart medication all my life and so that's just one example. So basically you can you know do certain things for the different symptoms that you have but there's no cure for Marfan's disease or Marfan's syndrome. So anyways when I was in my 20s, late 20s, um, I started thinking you know like dang I really want to be able to have kids and so I went in for a second opinion on the Marfan syndrome and also for like a checkup on my heart and come to find out they said that my aorta was not enlarged um, and that I only had a few of these smaller characteristics of Marfan syndrome therefore they said that they would not diagnose me or that I was misdiagnosed rather and that I just had some of the characteristics of Marfan syndrome because there's not really one way to find out if you have it or not. It's, it's based on um, family history and your symptoms and so it's one of those syndromes, diseases that you know you have to just kind of take all the information that you have and the doctors have to make the best educated decision. So yeah so that was pretty much the best news of my life when i found out that i did not have it because i was also told that my heart was healthy enough to have a pregnancy and of course obviously now we have alistair but yeah so kind of weird to have grown up you know thinking that i had this syndrome that was going to keep me from having children and then come to find out i don't have it anymore and I would growing up I had so many doctor's appointments and heart checkups and things like that and I do have heart problems I do have a heart murmur and I have tachycardia which is I just have a very fast heart rate like my heart rates around 110 resting when normal is 60 to 90 so anyways yeah so I thought that would be interesting to share with you guys and I wanted to put this at the beginning of our vlog in case anyone has come here for the title, uh, I probably titled it something like Diagnosed with Marfan Syndrome. And I actually wanted to just give you guys a list of the symptoms and characteristics of Marfan Syndrome. Um, just because early detection and diagnosis can save someone's life. And since it's not like a disease that you hear about every day, I figure since I'm making the video, I will just, I have my phone here, I'm just gonna list um, the different symptoms and signs and all of that to you guys. Um, so here they are. So long arms, legs, and fingers. Like I mentioned, I'm 5'11 and I weigh 120. Um, I 
yeah, super obviously, so I have that one. Tall and thin body type, curved spine, I have that as well. Chest sinks in or sticks out, I don't have that. Flexible joints, I have that. Flat feet, crowded teeth, obviously I have that. And then stretch marks on the skin that are not related to weight loss or weight gain, which also I have. Um, and then there are other things that are like harder to detect, like um, like the heart problems, which I have, um, and specifically to your aorta. Um, let's see what else. Um, there's things like eye problems, lung problems, um, and yeah, I think that's about all. So I know it's kind of vague, but. I figure I might as well just list those things to you and normally, or not normally, but this is a genetic disease also, so, but you might not always know that a family member had it. See, I don't know my biological dad and so that was the part that was a little bit tricky for us because my mom was almost certain that on my biological dad's family that someone over there had Marfan syndrome, um, but we didn't have like 100% information telling us that that was in fact true so let's move on with the rest of our vlog but i hope that you guys found this interesting good morning it's sunday alistair's in a great mood we have church today it's eight o'clock we better get going you seem so happy We are making pizza. Ali's very excited. Oh yeah, this is a pizza. Yeah. Alistair knows how to make pizza because he it's saw it on Daniel Tiger. It's called dough. It's called dough, obviously. And we'll have to touch it with our hands. Okay, this time to take our pizza and eat it. So here is Alistair's first ever pizza that he made. And there, whoop, there's ours, because we have some peppers and onions and things that Allie doesn't like. Allie, are you ready? We're gonna eat out here. We eat in our living room a lot. And, all right, guys, we're gonna say goodnight. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And let me know um, if you guys liked me starting off the vlog with a little story time. And also, um, I wanted to do a vlog pretty soon talking about EC, which is elimination communication. Um, that's how we basically potty trained, or we did not diaper train Alistair. He used the toilet starting at five months old. So anyways, if you want to know more about that, let me know. We'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Okay, bye guys. Bye.